Hello everybody. Let's discuss today how to fulfill the mitzvah of Esamachta Bechagecha, of rejoicing during the holiday times. One of the Tariag mitzvot is Vesamachta Bechagecha, that on our holidays we should rejoice and enjoy. How are we supposed to be doing that? Chazal tell us the Gemara in Mesechet Psachim, the way to rejoice is with new clothes, jewelry, and with good food and wine. Um, as far as food and wine, we should have more than we would normally have on a Shabbat. As far as clothes, we would always have the best clothes that we have, that we would wear on Yom Tov, on, on, on the holidays. There are four parts really to this, to this um, mitzvah. One is to do something that's very special. Do special things. Um, to make the whole holiday happier, that's going to be buying new clothes and having jewel, new jewelry. Sweets, candies and toys for the children. New toys for the children. S good tasting things for the children. Good food and good wine. That would fall, call into, fall into this first category. The second category is also having good food, good wine and clothes by itself. Not just because it's making you happy. Um, and always have better than you would have on a normal Shabbat. The third music, dancing, trips, all these things are fantastic things that we should be doing on the holidays, saving up for them, saving up time for them, saving up money for them, that we can have wonderful trips together, the family together, that we can um, dance, enjoy music, all these things, whatever we love doing. And then the fourth, fourth stage, the fourth would be that we, should, we must try and be in a good mood. A bad mood, even if you do all the other good things, it can just ruin everything. We have to try and be in a good mood. Um, don't do unhappy things. We don't do mourning during the holidays. Um, we don't do we don't, uh, fasting. These are things we don't do during the time of the holidays because we want to be in a good mood. We want to do things that are in a good mood, keep us in a good mood. The Gemara and Pesachim adds that a person, every, every house owner, every person has an obligation to make his wife and his children happy during this time. Now we've mentioned some things that would make people happy, but of course you know your wife and children better than anyone else. Whatever it is that they need to be made happy, that's what we need to be doing for them during the holiday of Pesach, during the holiday times. Just think, how can you make them as happy as possible? How can you make them and really, really enjoy themselves. That's what we want. That's what we want. How we want people to join, to enjoy themselves. The the Gemara says that in Bavel there was one particular way that people would feel happy during the holidays, and in Jerusalem there was another way that people would be happy during the holidays. The idea is there's no set way to say we do this and you're going to be happy. The idea is that whatever makes someone happy is what we should be trying to do for them. And doing for ourselves to make ourselves happy, that was why, what we, we should try to be doing on the holiday. That is fulfilling the mitzvah of Besamachta Bechagecha. May we all, Bezat Hashem, be Samachta Bechagecha, fulfill the mitzvah with Hidurav in the best possible way, and have a wonderful, wonderful holiday. Thank you.